Hey everyone, CJ here with Diode Dynamics. Today in the garage, we're checking out our new SS5 crosslink brackets designed for the Prinsu and Sherpa roof racks. You've probably seen our SS5 crosslink light bars mounted on a number of Prinsu and Sherpa roof racks before, but overlanders have been left having to custom mount them to these racks. Our new powder coated stainless steel Prinsu and Sherpa roof rack brackets allow you to mount a six or seven pod crosslink light bar to your roof rack without having to remove the wind deflector or make modifications. These brackets were designed and tested right here in St. Louis, Missouri to provide stabilization and load distribution. And the best part, they're backed by an eight year warranty, just like the rest of our stage series lineup. As you can see next to me, we've got a fifth gen 4Runner outfitted with a Prince Hugh roof rack to demonstrate how to install these new brackets. Let's get started. First, we'll need to remove the front wind deflector from the roof rack. To remove this, there are two T30 Torx bolts on both sides holding it in place. Next, we'll start assembling the brackets off of the vehicle. Slide the double T-nuts onto the top facing channel of each side of the crossbar. We'll then take our left and right hand brackets and loosely fit them onto the double T-nuts. It should be noted that the flanged section of the brackets should be facing outwards as shown here. After the brackets are loosely secured, we can reinstall the wind deflector. Next, we'll assemble our SS5 crosslink light bar. We'll align the light bars to the first notch of the crosslink hardware. If you need more help with assembling your crosslink light bar, check out the link in the description below. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we'll then secure the support link mount to the middle of our light bar. Depending on your vehicle, this may mount on the top or bottom of the crosslink hardware. If you have a seven pod configuration, we recommend using the second and fifth crosslink hardware mounting points. Now, we'll mount our SS5 crosslink light bar to the roof rack brackets. You may need a friend for this step, however, it is possible to do by yourself. Use the included M6 10mm bolts to mount the light bar, leaving them hand tight to leave room for adjustment later. Once you make sure everything is centered and how you prefer, secure the brackets to the wind deflector with the 5 30 seconds Allen screws from earlier. When tightening this bracket down, apply upward pressure to the bracket so that it sits flush against the wind deflector panel. Next, Locate the support crossbar behind the SS5 crosslink and slide the single T-nut into the top forward channel. Sherpa roof racks do require a partial disassembly to slide the T-nut into place. Attach the support bracket to the single T-nut using the included screw. It's important to note the flange section should be facing forward as shown. Now we can slide the support bracket along the crossbar and align it with the SS5 link mount bracket. The support bracket should be on the right hand side of the link mount. Loosely secure the support bracket to the link mount using the included M8 bolt, washer, and nut, leaving them hand tight for adjustment later. Rotate the SS5 crosslink to adjust the aim as needed and tighten into place using a 10 millimeter socket on both sides. Using a 13 millimeter socket, tighten the screw and nut that secure the link mount to the support bracket and tighten the support bracket using a 5 30 seconds Allen. Now we'll start our wiring. Starting with our splitter harness, we'll connect each DT connector of the harness into each SS5 pod. For our application, we'll be putting the female DT connector on the driver's side going down the windshield since the battery is also on the driver's side. In the engine bay, we can connect our positive and negative harness leads to the battery and route the switch into the cab to the location of your choice. Keep the harness away from any hot removing parts and clean up any loose wiring using zip ties. Before routing our harness up the windshield, Grab the square wire routing tabs included with your kit and stick them along the edge of the windshield. Next, we can route the DT connector up between the hood along the windshield and plug it in with our crosslink harness. Test for function. With everything functioning properly, secure any remaining loose wiring. The brackets have built-in zip tie slots and so do the windshield wire routing tabs. As you can see, not only will these brackets allow you to mount our SS5 crosslink light bars to your roof rack, but they'll also provide extra stabilization and load distribution 
all while maintaining your wind deflector with no modification necessary. If you're looking to pick up an SS5 Crosslink light bar or our new brackets for your Prince or Sherpa roof rack, visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. And if you want to stay up to date on any new or future products, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.